I gave up. Come on, girls, go to the gate. More storms coming in. These were not on the docket today. So all these dips you see in the fence, those were from some cattle that we boarded a couple years ago. And cattle are really tough on fences. So now any of these low spots, my sheep have figured out they can jump. And you can see where they jump the most. So this entire fence line, which goes from down there all the way up there has to come out and have a new fence put in so we can get rid of that stuff. And here comes the rain. It is another windy, smoky day. Well, evening. Um, we've had weather, weather warnings? I don't know. Anyway, we're not supposed to go outside because the uh, air quality is hazardous. In summer, it's always hazardous. But uh, yeah, with the rainstorms, we ended up with the wind coming in and fires and um, there was a nice lightning storm last night that lit up a bunch of fires around the area. All this smoke is coming from California, which it always does. But we just finished moving sheep and now I'm gonna head and make dinner. These dogs crack me up. Pyrenees eats laying down. Akbosh eats standing up. Pyrenees eats laying down. It seems like this has been the thing they do. But every Pyrenees we've owned has always eaten laying down. Every Akbosh we have owned has eaten standing up. I'm curious to know if other people's LGDs do the same thing. Well, I shouldn't be disappointed because I only have two that haven't been covered. She is one over there and she is one right there. Now Cloud, the one over here is the old one, so I'm really not surprised that she didn't get covered. She didn't get bred last year at all. But Susan over here, you can just, there you go, this one right here. I'm really surprised she hasn't been covered. So I hope there's not an issue. She had, she gave me beautiful twin girls last year and the eagles got both of them. And I am absolutely heartbroken over that because they, she is one of my best use. So I'm hoping that Marlin will get it done here soon. I think we're just about at the end of the first 72 hours, so it'll be another uh, 14 to 17 days before they'll come in again, so we won't know until then. But we just got done chasing sheep because the lovely police officer came to the door and said that our sheep were on the highway because two of you little turds keep jumping the fence. So we just brought them all into the barn and we're going to wean them on or wean the babies. Most of them are already weaned. Um, the others are all oh, about 45, 60 days. So we're just going to wean the lambs and probably take them to our buddy. Yeah. You, Bonner, were the culprit. You were jumping fences. So yeah. 
So that was my fun tonight. So. I don't know why my sheep started jumping fences. But it is constant now. So. All right, we are going to leave them in here for the night and probably tomorrow go ahead and separate off the moms and the babies and get the moms all out back and the babies out of sight, out of mind, out of hearing. She thinks she's helping. at them for not doing what they were supposed to do. Nobody said she was a smart dog. It is not often that I get the house to myself. Rocky is stacking, Rihanna is at her job, and I get to be home. So I went out and I picked a bunch of stuff from the garden. So we have a ton of banana peppers. So I am going to can these today. Um, these are our sweet peppers. I'm just gonna chop them up and can them so that we have them for this winter. So I have my brine going. I have six cups of uh, white vinegar, two cups of water and about four four cloves of garlic that I just chopped up and I have my cans ready or my jars ready to go water has not even begun to boil so we're just gonna let this simmer once the water starts boiling we'll go ahead and put our cans in there and get them done in the meantime I'm gonna chop up these peppers so that I have everything ready for when the jars are done. Okay, so I got my jars filled and we're taking brine and just pouring it in. back in for 10 minutes. We'll wait for the water to boil and then set the timer for 10 minutes and when it's done, they should be done. So we also got some crookneck squash, some zucchini, 
and a cucumber. I'm sure there's more. It's the only big one I found. My beans are falling down over my cucumbers. In fact, I've got to pick my beans. Oh my gosh, there are so many out there. But this, this is going to be another day. Maybe tomorrow night. Um, well, the cucumber, I'll probably just cut that up and eat it tomorrow for lunch. So the zucchini, I'm going to shred up and freeze for zucchini bread later. Um, I might dice some up um, and put it with the squash for a side for dinner some nights. Um, but it'll all get frozen. And then hopefully my butternut and my acorn squash will do something I got lots of plants, I got lots of blooms, I don't have anything on them yet. So it's my first year growing them. They could take a while, I don't know. But once they do do something, those I will either puree and um, freeze or just cut them up into chunks and freeze them that way, that way. Or leave a bunch whole and just put them in the cellar so that we will have them for the winter. But as soon as these get done boiling, I have to go feed because um, my little sheep are going to think I forgot about them. Okay, and there we have it. That's what I got out of the garden today. Just for the, oh, and they're popping already. Just for the sweet peppers and probably, I don't know, probably about another 20 or so will be ready in about a week. So I'll do this again. And then hopefully I will have more cucumbers ready so we can pickle some cucumbers. And I need to get my... I've got a ton of beans out there that I just, just haven't had time to get today. I picked a ton of the peas, got them frozen, and did the sweet peppers. And yeah, now I really need to feed or the critters are going to be very angry with me. So I don't know if I showed you this or not. This is the power line that goes to our well. And in the windstorm a couple days ago, the trees fell. So our issue is if we take, let's see, I think, I can't remember. I know if we take one down, then the other one will break the line. And if we take the other one down, then the other one will break the line. So he's going to have to detach the whole thing, shut the power off, detach the line, pull the trees, and then reattach the line. And at that point, we will put it to the other um, telephone pole that we put up for it. So probably won't happen this week but possibly next weekend. It's just kind of shuffling it into the mix of everything else we have going on. I won't be around all week, I have to work. Uh, so he's kind of gonna be on his own. Hey okay, guys, I'm really sure what's going on here. But I seem to have sheep with horns this year. He's got horns. He's got horns. And my little s'mores, my new has horns. I am so disappointed. I don't know that I can keep her because horn sheep don't work at our place. I don't know. They're all from different rams. So is it the ewes? So this mom is part Icelandic. This mom is part Icelandic, and both their babies have horns. Where'd that other one go? So he belongs to Terry, who is part Owasi. The boys, I don't care, because they get sold anyway. But the girl having horns really bothers me. Because she was an absolute definite keeper. Now she may not be, which means I will probably have to sell both of those Icelandic cross U's.
still no blue. Not sure what's going on. 